Welcome viewers, Laura here, back with some Zoo Tycoon 2, and hopefully I fixed the music problem. Or sound problem. And hopefully it's not too loud also. I like how they have this picture of a zoo that you could never actually have. <laughs> Obtain $5,000 in guest donations. That should be pretty easy because guests are rather generous. And I'll just smooth and sell, get rid of everything I can. <coughs> <coughs> Might be getting a little bit sick, so that's why I've been coughing so much. And get rid of this walkway, we don't want it here. No music, unfortunately music in this game is really good. Although I've noticed that I tend to say that about like almost everything. Movies, games. <sighs> yeah. It's pretty much the only thing that has music. I'm just a very amiable person. And got about three thousand bucks from that. Should be able to get some more. Also, I don't want this, whoa, stuck key, um, I don't want this dirt path here because I can't actually replace it, so it'll look really bad, because until I get to like three stars or, or something of fame, I can't actually get dirt, dirt paths. Seems a little odd, seems like it would be one of the first things you can get, but apparently not for whatever reason. Well, recycling icon disappeared. Oh, there it is. Just smoothing and selling. Hopefully this isn't too boring. Trying to keep it interesting. And do this as fast as possible. Don't really need to get everything. done. I just don't like to have all this stuff here because it makes it harder to put in exhibits because when you fence, when you put up a fence it doesn't like automatically overwrite this stuff and delete it so you have to like exit the fence placement, delete the stuff you want to get rid of and then place the fence and it's really annoying. Also it gives you money. And I need to get rid of this pond because I don't want it. There are a lot of things in this game that look pretty, but actually are really annoying. Like non-flat terrain. It's a nice idea though. And if you want to make an aesthetically pleasing zoo, then you can do it. This isn't the most efficient zoo, and I usually go for efficiency over aesthetics. Okay, I think I'm basically done with the smooth and sell. Have a nice, boring, regular old zoo with nothing in it. Got nine thousand, almost ten thousand dollars out of that too. So I'll need a Thompson. I want a Thompson's gazelle exhibit. I'll begin it here and bring it out ten spaces and chain link fence I'm assuming will work. It would be kind of strange if it couldn't. And bring that seven fifties worth of, because it costs seventy five per block square cube, whatever it's called. And I don't think I want to put water in because I'm not sure if they can actually swim. These Thompson's gazelles. Gaz Thompson's gazelles and put in a couple of random rocks and stuff. I believe that makes it more educational. And no enrichment. Not 
A because that can they um food can always come in just like something that you set on the ground which cannot be refilled and then in a food dish which can be refilled and I it either doesn't cost money or it doesn't cost much money to refill it so refillables are usually better and let's see so this one's good for ungulates this one's better for non ungulates so are these ungulates even toed ungulates yep they're ungulates oh yeah I guess it says animals with hooves so gazelles probably have hooves and I think exhibits ready so now I just need to put in the actual gazelles Wait. oh I guess there were two males and then need to put in some human stuff like I'll need a donation box so I can actually get donations put it right nice in the center and hmm, probably want a picnic bench one here one here sundial statue might be nice just like so guests can appreciate it and it helps with amusement I believe I'm not sure if the flower post helps with amusement but it's pretty cheap even if it doesn't need a couple of trash cans and the soda stand the hot dog stand and restrooms we can put one whoa stuck key again and we can put a restroom over there and an ATM say here gets kind of cluttered but it works and then put in an educators podium along with an educator that increases people's happiness put it right there I think you can still walk through that and put some pathing down so they can actually get here hmm I think that's all we actually need pretzel cart man eh, not necessary then unpause uh, open okay free want to make guests as happy as possible so we get donations as quickly as possible oh yeah and then we can actually build an extra exhibit because we still have money more Thompson's gazelles um, I can use these chain link fences again might be slightly prettier to use some other fence but this works so it's fine I always there is an option to like this will put in trees plants and rocks as well as just painting the terrain but I like to do it this way and then manually put in the trees rocks and plants because it doesn't always work as well when it's not as smart in the placement and just need to put in some food variety and water so that it never runs out and then research the scratching post I believe they're also ungulates the dromedary camels I think they're odd toed ungulates nope even toed ungulates and I can also do the shade structure done think that's all I need oh yeah and a staff gate and then I can just actually put in the camel okay put in four of them wow usually don't get that many and sprint forward yeah you if you can walk through something in guest <laughs> mode then guests can get through it hmm. um, 
just trying to align myself so that when I go back into the overview mode, I'll be almost perfectly aligned so that this is perpendicular to the screen and scratching post. Hot dog stand is really profitable. Have I gotten any donations yet? Yeah, that was fast. Yeah, you get a lot of do you get a lot of money from donations really quickly. Already have 152. And then what do I want to put here? Do I want this to be the court area, like the food and relaxation court, or do I want it to be something else? I usually have a court where I put, like, the, um, food stands, the restrooms, and once I get it, like, gift shops and, well, not gift shops, because they make no money, but gifts, uh, what's it called? Gift stands are extremely profitable. This will, this can be the, oh darn, I can't move these things. That's annoying. So, I'll bring this out a little bit farther, and then, and so then I can put stuff all in here. And then, an extra exhibit over. Here. Yeah, and this is also going to be the eating area, like once I get umbrella tables. Put a couple of trash cans nearby because otherwise guests get really unhappy. Apparently they don't remember where stuff is. They don't provide maps or anything like that. Something stupid. I guess the only three animals I can get are the moose, the dromedary camel, and the Thompson's gazelle. While well, I'm at half a star of fame. Because when I fin when I used up all my Thompson's gazelle, I got Thompson's gazelles, I got more Thompson's gazelles. When I used up all the camels, I got more camels. And when I use up the moose, I'll probably get more moose. stuff to make it educational. There we go. A little bit of food. Water. Apparently moose don't need any sort of shelters, which is interesting. I would have thought they would just use a normal shelter. I guess and then put down some human stuff, like a donation box. Because that one's probably too far away. Maybe a pretzel card over. Eh, it's pretty close. They should be able to walk that far. However, an ATM might be nice. I believe you can move ATMs. Yeah. Certain things that are, like, small and maneuverable, you can move, like ATMs. And, um, any sort of carts, like the pretzel. Ooh, I can already get the gift cart. Super, super good. It's probably the best item in the game. But yeah, like the carts, including the gift cart, and the pretzel cart, and 
cotton candy cart, popcorn cart, things like that, things like that, and also small things like trash cans, donation boxes, educators podiums. I wonder if I could this fit over there? No. It's too big. You always want your most exotic exhibits to be up front because they get viewed the most. Although in practice, what usually ends up happening for me is that since I kind of start at the front and build backwards, and you get more exotic animals as the game goes along, I end up with my least exotic animals at the front and my most exotic animals at the back. I'm too lazy to redo exhibits. And some of the stuff you can't move. Like these two things you can't move, although you can move the rocks and the scratching posts, the food, the trees. You can even move people. It's already turned to $15 profit. More than the hot dog food stand. I think this stuff costs $10 a piece at low, at the low prices that I always keep it. But it's probably the most profitable of any concessions or food stand. Although it still pales in comparison to donations. Although, actually, that might just be because I always keep it on low prices. Uh, have I gotten anyone looking at the moose yet? Barely. Hey, maybe he'll donate. Um, want another educator podium over here. Oh yeah, and then maintenance worker would be nice because I kind of doubt that I'll actually make it to the end of the month before I win. And you only have to pay their salaries at the beginning of the month. End of the month, whatever. <laughs> Same thing. Oh, well. I guess I'll make it to the end of this month. Probably not. It'll take me two to three months. No, exactly. Probably lower quality once this gets uploaded. Wow, I actually got everything. I did, wasn't even paying that much attention. Eight dollars. Yay! Oh wait, two thousand six hundred and eighty-nine. I do like the fact that I'm making everybody happy. I got a great deal at hot dog food stand. Got a great deal at gift cart one. Um, I got 
got a great deal of soda drinks now. <laughs> that's that's one of the benefits of running low prices. Because they don't contribute that much to your profits anyways. It's mostly just to make customers happy and keep their needs high. So you might as well just set them on low prices and make them even happier. Like, even on high, they would only contribute maybe a quarter of your profit high prices. Oh, wow. $234 now. Pretty fast. My zoo Ooh, wow, we're getting famous really fast. Oh, yeah, because guest happiness just shoots up. New animals, probably new buildings. Okay. Uh, wait. Oh, you don't actually get new buildings until the a full star. When do I unlock family restrooms? Small restrooms get clogged up really fast, and they're so stupid. Like, if you have two restrooms ne next to each other, they'll always go to the same one. They won't, like, form two separate lines, they'll just do everybody goes to one of them. And there's no line for the other one. It's never used. It's really funny. But annoying. Also, it is kind of cool how you can actually see the merchandise they're buying. Like, this person has a moose hat. Ooh, and their fame for an animal. The animal is the moose, too. And they just watched a moose, probably. Oh, really? They didn't even watch a moose? Oh, nice. This person should be really happy when they go to the... Go to the moose. Hopefully that's what they're gonna do. No, going to use the bathroom. Here, I can help with that. Walking around. Pathfinding is a terrific. Also, they form lines kind of strangely. Like, if one person's across the map, and they decide to use the restroom, and then there's another person who's like right next to it, and then they decide to rest use the restroom later, they'll just go up there, wait in line until the other person comes, and then uses the bathroom, and then they'll go in. Even when there's plenty of time for them to have used the bathroom. Not a perfect game. Good. I want you to see the moose. Your favorite animal is a moose. You have a moose hat. You should see the moose. You're watching the ed You're watching the ed educator when you could actually be seeing a moose. Watching the educator talk about moose. Hopefully that makes her really happy. Hopefully they'll give us a donation. Run on donations. Give us your money today. I'm almost to the 5,000 mark. I'm at 4,932. I'm about to win this mission. This is probably a bit of a shorter episode, but I think I'm going to end the episode here. And thanks for watching. See you next video. Bye!